In this video, we will look at the collaboration space of the class notebook. Okay, so here I am in a class notebook, and I'm going to open up my navigation panel. And what you'll notice here in your navigation panel is an area called collaboration space. Let's click into here. And what you'll see is this space is a place where all members of your team have edit access. So you and your students can collaborate within this space. So for example, you could have your students come in and create their own page and based on your prompts, develop some content and then their classmates could go through and look at the pages that they've developed. So it's a great way for collaboration and sharing to happen. Now you can create more sections within this. So you can just click add section and maybe we're doing an activity around physical science here. We can type that in. And now we've got a new section here called physical science and we can direct our students to come in, create a page of their own and develop that page out and this will be a space where all students can come in and view what's being developed. Whereas over here in our student sections, students would not be able to come in and drill into these areas to see their classmates work, right? These are private areas for the students. Only that student and the teacher have access. So another way you could use this is you could create a page where everyone adds content to that single page. Now, there might be times where you decide, you know what, I don't want the collaboration space to be open. I'd like to lock it and prevent anyone from getting in and making changes. Well, you can do that easily. What you're going to do is, and let's expand this so we can see the navigation bar better. You're going to come over here to the class notebook tab and then you're going to go over to manage notebooks. And so once you're in here, these are your settings for your notebook. And here you have lock collaboration space. And you can see right now it is unlocked. That means that my students can go in currently and edit pages within that area. But with one click of the toggle switch, we can lock the collaboration space so that we don't have any unnecessary editing happening in that space. At any time, we can come back and unlock the collaboration space when we want to use it. All right, then we just close out of that. Now, there is one more element to the collaboration space that you need to be aware of. I'm going to click to get out of full screen there. Now, what I want to share with you is that there's a connection between the channels in your team and the class notebook collaboration space. So let's say, for example, that you want your students to collaborate in channels in your team. So here I am, I created a channel called Team Yoda for a group to collaborate in. And so when they go in here, they of course have their posts area where they can have conversations, they have their files area to share files, but they also have this notes section. So here in the notes, they can begin to capture notes and collaborate within a notebook page. So as you can see here, we are now in the class notebook. Look familiar? Now we can open our navigation and we see here Team Yoda Notes. Hmm, interesting. We can come down and create a page we can title the page and begin collaborating, capturing notes. So let's now navigate back to the actual full class notebook. We're going to go back to the general channel. And then we're going to go to class notebook. We're going to open up the navigation and ah, we see the full class notebook here in this view. And we're going to go into the collaboration space to now access that channel. Look at this. Now there's a new section called Team Yoda Notes. This came from the Team Yoda channel notes. So we can even access this now from the class notebook. 
and it is collaborative because everyone has access to this channel. They all have access to these notes because they are within the collaboration space. So that's a nice connection to have that stored in your main class notebook. And here we see the page that was started in the channel. And know that it still exists in the channel. So when the team is in here, in their channel, and they go back to notes, they will be able to access those notes. But just know that when they're in the channel, they can only access the notes from that one section. To access the rest of the notebook, they'll need to go back to general channel in order to navigate the entire notebook. All right, and that is the nuts and bolts of the collaboration space.